pious persons in the grave who lived according to the Islamic monotheism. Okay, the first thing I would like to talk about over here is that, of course, we believe, uh, I mean, not we believe, I don't know who believes or not, but according to logic and common sense that, and of course that's what started it, this point, from here on in, common sense and logic, it's all there. The reason for us um, being in the grave is that there is something to come, because if there is nothing to come, why would we die? <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's so clear. It's so clear. I've been wasting my life. There is an afterlife. Why else would we die? It's like light. It's like light. And my pet rabbit will be waiting for me. Because he died too. So from, from here, we can uh, think or we can argue uh, about one thing that there is something uh, after this world. Uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people. And those punishments are, <laughs> of course, very fearful. I'm scared already! Uh, the punishment will start from here that two angels will, uh, will come. They will ask you three questions. Not the quiz of death! First is, who is your lord? Allah. Second, what is your religion? Islam. Third, who is this person? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad. But I don't know what Muhammad looked like. Nobody knows what Muhammad looked like. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer. <laughs>
day of uh, Qiyamat, means till the last day, that uh, the whole earth will never ever uh, bring out any, any greenery. Everything will be rotten and no one will be able to harvest any plants or any trees or something. The earth will be so much Okay, enough, Mr. Sakar. Sakar, I saw in the text you are saying, you don't kill innocent people, but you kill people like us. Let me say to you, may Allah fart on you, and I challenge you to kill us. You and your Muslims are a bunch of cowards. And we will show the world how filthy is your prophet and what he made out of you. You just told us that you Muslims, you kill people just because they say Muhammad is false. And it's too late. Your prophet became a joke, and your prophet is a joke. And let us see what you can do about it. We challenge you. Now, let us go to the topic. 99 snakes will go inside your butt. Explain that to the room. This is your Muslim brother explaining your prophet himself a story. How Allah will send two angels in the grave, they will ask you three questions. Who is your God? You say, Allah. Who is the prophet? Who is this man? You say, Muhammad. What is your religion? You say, Islam. If if you say those questions, three of them correct, if you answer them correctly, they will not beat you with the hammer. If you mistake, <laughs> Sakar, well, you're a prophet, he told us already the questions. All of us, we know it now. All those Christians, when they go in the grave, the, the two angels will come to them, they will say, who is the God? We say, Allah. Okay. Who is this man? Muhammad. Okay. What is your religion? Islam. Okay, we go through. We go to heaven just by saying those. How stupid this God is. He's telling us the question of the exam and the answers before the exam. He left. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> ah, Ser Sergi, you're mic. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so shaking in my boots. I think I'll, that fool comes back around whatever room I'm in. I just.